ओके इको हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडेज रिव्यू इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट यूजली इट्स मोर अबाउट द कैमरा लेंसेज और एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू फोटोग्राफी विच वी लव टू रिव्यू बट टूडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द इकोवैक्स डी बॉट एक्स वन विच वी परचेज फॉर आर होम स्टूडियो दिस यूनिट इज एन ओमनी यूनिट इन द सेंस इट इज अ कम्प्लीट यूनिट विच हैज बोथ मॉपिंग एंड स्वीपिंग फंक्शन बिल्ड इन इट ऑल्सो हैज द फंक्शन ऑफ क्लीनिंग द मॉप्स वंस दे आर डर्टी द सिस्टम ऑटोमेटिकली डिटेक्ट इट एंड द रोबो गोज बैक टू द डॉकिंग स्टेशन क्लीन द मॉप एंड स्टार्ट the cleaning from the place where it has left this is a quick hands on review of us using this system for almost a month now and we are really happy with the kind of efficiency it has compared to the previous systems this is unique in terms of the mopping system so basically it is a completely automated system where you don't have to do anything except filling the tank with water let me show you what i mean the top one has your water inlet and outlet in the sense this will be the fresh water which will be used for cleaning the mops and this one is for the dirty water when the mops are clean the dirty water is pushed into this you have a tray for some extra mops and a brush to clean okay coming to the second system like this this part is where you have the dust bag so whenever the cleaning is complete for the entire house the robo will go back and uh, there is a suction pump in which sucks all the dust and puts it in this bag so be it dust be it mopping everything is completely automated in this system and this is the app so basically if you see the app it's pretty simple um you have to just enter to smart cleaning for the first time you have the option to basically create a map it can save up to 3 maps for a 2200 square foot home it took around i would say 10 minutes to quickly map everything that was pretty fast compared to other systems in the market currently it will map out everything and it will divide it into zones so if you want to start the cleaning either you can tell verbally for eco to start or you can start it from the app itself if you want it to clean a specific area or a specific room you can very well do that by just giving commands specific to that room the other unique feature it has is if you check the docking station it has three options for cleaning so basically this one is for cleaning your mops then you have uh the empty dust option where basically it will suck out all the dust from the robo and put it in the bag and this one is hot air drying when the mop is cleaned when the cleaning is done it automatically starts the hot air drying which pushes hot air on the mops and it takes say around 2 hours or so to completely dry the mops it is very important for drying the mops to avoid any kind of bacterial or fungal deposits in there or the foul smell which usually comes out of the mop this doesn't happen in this system because it dries up completely after the cleaning okay guys so we are starting the cleaning now there you go so as you can see the station is washing the mopping pads and adding water to the bot it will prepare the debot it will fill in the water it will clean the mops and it will make it ready for the cleaning process the debot is ready and the starter cleaning so in the front you have the sweeps and at the back if you can see it those are the mops If you want to clean a specific room, you can just ask Dibot to do it. Okay, Eko. Please clean the kitchen. So it has taken the command and it's filling the water just to make itself ready. Okay. So here it goes to the kitchen. And it starts cleaning. Okay, here is the kitchen. Now this is the most asked question like does it really work with the kitchen and as you can see it's pretty dirty. Uh we have some liquid spilled around. So it's basically water if it's oil don't use the board for cleaning it. So it starts from the edges based on the map. 
can you see the quality of mopping it's very clean so we have a small bump for the utility area and that elevation can be easily handled by the depot and it's spotless it's really good with the cleaning under the furniture like bed you have to just ensure that you have sufficient height for the depot to enter or else the sensor will automatically detect the height of the furniture and if the space is less it won't go in So as you can see it has identified that the mopping pads are dirty and it is trying to find the shortest route to go back to the station So now it will go back to the station clean the mop and then start the work from the same place It's docking itself Now the cleaning will start. So it's cleaning the mop, sucking the dirty water. The cleaning process is pretty quick. Okay, so the mop is ready to start the cleaning, and basically it will go to the same spot from where it left the cleaning. and it will continue to complete the cleaning so this cleaning process of the mop happens multiple times whenever the bot feels that yes the mops are dirty so yeah guys so this was a quick review of ecovax the bot omni x1 if you are asking us for the recommendation we would say it is highly recommended and you can go for it